out today. Every day you can see this happening, you can no longer call these people conspiracy nuts. I didn't believe it either until I started looking into it, and by God, they're right. Yes, sir. Yes, uh, I just want to share with everyone uh, something I had read in a current laser magazine, and under development, there is a barcode scanner that uh, will not be able to be seen with the eye that be seen uh, with uh, infrared technology. So that you could have a barcode scan on yourself and no, no one. That's right. It's an invisible tattoo, but it can be scanned. Uh, I'd like to say also that the reason I left California, took my family and left, I went to vote in the last election, and I saw on the voter registration form next to my name the universal product code. I packed up my family and I left California. I now know, and I just left California, I was just speaking in Pasadena, I have seen them, it's true. The driver's license in California now have the universal product code on the driver's license. It's not far off. The UPC, yeah. The barcode, for those of you who don't know what universal product code is. Yes. It's going to be the new world. It's going to be your accountant. It's not going to be any more cash. There will not be any more swap meets. There won't be any selling your mattress to your neighbor when you buy a new one. Everything will be registered. They're already starting it in Oklahoma and 21 other states. You will register all your property. If they come to your home and something's missing, you're a criminal. There will be no black market. You will not be able to work, you will not be able to buy, you will not be able to sell, you will not be able to get medical care, you will not be able to do anything except with your number through the computer. This is the truth, folks. I'm not making this up. If you have a banker that knows you well enough to be honest with you, he will tell you this. I don't know, man. I don't know. But I do know that Star Wars is not what they're telling you it's for. Star Wars is the satellite computer link up between the nations to make the one world banking and economy system work. And it's paid for by American tax dollars. If they want to imprison you in a two square block area, all they have to do is zero out your computer account outside that area. And you won't be able to live if you walk off your two block square area. If they don't want you to leave your city, they can do the same thing. Your card will only be good in your city. Yes? Is it possible that they have developed this kind of system that is very similar to what's talked in the, the Bible as a psychological effect to get people to sort of... Of course. It's like I said a while ago. They're following the book of Revelations like a script to neutralize opposition against them. If you believe that it has been or prophesied and is ordained by God, you won't oppose them. I'm a Christian, and I'm not buying it. I'm going to oppose them. And I don't think that God or Jesus Christ would be very pleased with me if I didn't, even if it was God bringing it to pass. Because they're not going to... take three more questions and then unfortunately we're over time and I'd like to stay and talk to you more but we really can't. I have a brief question. Okay, and I, your hand has been up for a long time. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I really can't give for some answers and this is the one question I really would like to know because you've been going through such a learning experience through your research. Uh, when you saw that uh, large ship come out of the, the ocean spread, it came up. Mm -hmm. This day, do you personally think that came from outer space on this earth? Personally, I don't think it was built on this earth. Knowing what I know about the state of aircraft technology and about submarines. But what I think doesn't make a bit of difference. It's what I can prove that counts. And I can't prove that there's anybody here from outer space, although there's a lot of evidence to support it. What I can prove is that there's a lot of manipulation to put us in a one world government and destroy this nation and enslave all of us in a cashless economic system. That I can prove. And that's what we better be looking at. Yes, sir.
I don't know. I know that MUFON is not doing what they claim to do. I know that evidence has disappeared when it's been sent to MUFON. I know that physical evidence of UFOs is one of the hardest things in the world to collect, and when they collected liquid that dripped from a saucer in Gulf Breeze Bar and sent it to MUFON, it disappeared. That's what I know about MUFON. I know that if aliens are really here, and the government wants to keep it a secret, all the publications dealing with the information and all the organizations investigating this would be infiltrated and controlled by the government to suppress the information. I know that if aliens are not real and the government is per perpetrating this hoax, then they're doing it through those organizations and, per and publications and through people like me that innocently was passed documents through my hands and tried to come out and talk about it. I don't know what you mean by blank. When I say move on, I'm talking about the people who run it and control it and finance it. I'm not talking about all the people in the little towns and stuff who are interested in UFOs. It's too late to be careful. I'm fighting a war and I need people on my side. And damn it, if somebody's on the battlefield in front of me, I'm going to run right over them. I am sorry, but that is exactly what I'm going to do. Thank you sincerely. You're probably the best citizen in Atlanta. Are you with me?